So unfortunately, after doing some troubleshooting, there's a few things that I realized regarding setting up the Blackmagic Video Assist with the FX30. First, I realized that I needed to upgrade the firmware on my FX30. It was on 1.02. You can check that by scrolling all the way down to the briefcase icon and then clicking on setup, in which case you can then see your version. Um, and it recommended that I first upgrade to 1.05 uh, before I could upgrade to the current release, which in my case at this time would be 4.00. So I went through all of those steps only to realize that Sony is, it doesn't even support the Blackmagic RAW codec, which is why I got this monitor in the first place. It looks like uh, from the top down view, if you're following along, the only codecs that are supported are ProRes. Um, you can use any of the four uh, the ProRes codecs and you can see that that pops up with no issues. But as soon as you switch over to B-RAW and then we go back, you can see Blackmagic RAW codec not supported, unfortunately. So I did pull up a list of the supported cameras that do support uh, B-RAW, so I'll put that on the screen for you just for reference, but that is something to keep in mind. You are able to still record in DNxHR. Um, when I tested that, that seemed to work with no issues. I was still able to get a feed from the camera, as you can see there. Uh, but yeah, it's just unfortunate. That's the tip uh, that I wanted to leave you with if you were uh, if you were purchasing this video assist for the FX30 with the intent of doing B-RAW. It's not supported. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and smash the like button and consider subscribing to the channel to stay tuned for future videos. As always, thanks for viewing, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.